Morning. Morning. What are you up to? I'm going to make you breakfast. Mmm, what are we having? You are having wholemeal toast, smashed avocado, bacon and poached egg. That sounds delicious. I will look forward to that. Good. Yep. So while Tracy is doing that, I will show you, I'll tell you a little bit about the campsite we're on. So, we are at the Black Bull Caravan Park, near Pickering, and there's the map. So, what we've got is the main road between Pickering and Moulton, um, and you've got the reception just here. Um, it's quite a big campsite, actually, and this, this map only just shows you... Um, the section that we're on um, if you look here uh, there's an arrow point into the seasonal pitches and that is actually um, the adult only part of the park and then on this entrance here you've got um, an entrance to the static hire park and they have 20 odd statics uh, caravans some you can hire some are owned um, so we're on this this section here which is the family caravan park and this is divided up into smaller sections this section here um, it marked in yellow is the um, um, annual um, what's it called the seasonal tourist park there's six pitches there and then you've got the standard hard standing pitches down here and then the uh, standard hard stand with grass right at the bottom and then where we are in the section in the middle section you've got the serviced hard standing uh, pitches so we're gonna do a little walk around um, later on when once we've had breakfast and show you show you the facilities but I mean it really is well equipped um, we're just behind us we've got a, a shower block and the Elson point and there's an actual huge dog walk at the back there um, so we'll we'll show you this um, as we walk down later on before we go into Pickery yep right so we're uh, we're just leaving to walk into Pickering, so we thought we'd just show you around the uh, Black Bull Caravan Park. We're here for six nights. Five now. Five now, we've had his first night. And the cost for that was £160. So that works out about £26, 60, 50 or 60 a night. So we've just come up from our more throne which is just over there just there we'll come into this little area here and we've got a fresh water point oh sorry a grey waste point uh, for tipping your grey waste a great there for putting your grey waste in and a chemical toilet emptying point Just there we've got uh, what looks like fairly new shower blocks. Uh, just have a quick look inside these. There's two on this site. One down at the bottom end down there, which we'll walk past. And here we've got uh, a washing up facilities, two sinks. Radiator in fairly, very clean tidy two separate showers which are not in use at the moment and then uh, multi-sex um, toilets and each one has a, a wash basin in towel rail A 
and then just round here to the right we have quite a big dog walk it's a temporary one isn't it? the actual dog walk goes past those toilets that they're growing the grass at the moment right so yeah um just as we walked in by the toilet say you might have noticed straightforward the actual dog walk but this is the temporary one which is quite quite a big exercise area it does say though you have to keep dogs on leave here in right. this area yeah there's a couple of dog waste bins yeah, that's, that's good. straight ahead and then there will be all the uh, the statics some are some are privately owned yeah. and some are for rent are they yeah we'll have a we'll have a little look as we get down there and, and then beyond them statics there's the uh, the other adult uh, sorry the family uh, no the adult park we're on the family one which is beyond them static caravans yeah good again hiya so we've got uh, another toilet block there Helson point behind us motorhome service point hello, hello. and then we're down to uh, reception just to the right there we've got the family site or area even though it's close to this road when you you don't hear the noise on the on the actual campsite do you no you it, don't a little bit in the background maybe it's because we're used yeah. to living <laughs> near the m62 yeah but so just up here then you see uh, entrance to the adults only site mm. so we'll just have a quick look up there and uh just to the right here there's a football field quite a nice football field and just beyond there um, is Bully's Crazy Golf so there's lots of facilities uh, for children, for families playground, children's playground the football and the Crazy Golf And if you're uh, one of those particular campers that just prefer uh, adults only, it's got an adults only site. It's seasonal kitchen lodge, customers only through there. Right, so, so we, we won't go through. We won't go through, but you can see from here, um, just right up there, um, is some log cabins, yeah. and then the uh, seasonal pitches and private pitches and adult only pitches so it's uh, it's quite a big site I think it was it's a family owned site started about I think they said 50 years ago they were telling me yesterday with the wardens um, by the family the family still own it and basically it was just a uh, the field where we're in it was just a field for tents camping in tents and that building there just behind the trees was the original accommodation for the owners and they used that as a a reception office but now they've got the posh reception office there no it don't no got additional parking there for visitors and then the car park for the uh, Black Bull pub yep so we're uh, coming onto the main Moulton and Pickering Road but there is a, a good um, path. and we're gonna walk up into the town of Pickering Just which is about right of the entry here there is a bus stop which goes from Malton and Pickering as well. 
yeah yeah that's worth noting the bus stop um go to Moulton Pickering that's York probably you could get to York uh, connections at Moulton uh, and you can get up to the coast Whitby Scarborough or Bridlington so it's in a good location yeah, you, you could manage to get about without having a car with you, couldn't you? I mean, we brought the car this we time. We have this but, time, yeah, but we weren't but, sure. Um, but you, you could get places without. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll uh, head on. I think it's about 20 minute walk. It's about a mile or something like that. Uh, up into Pickering. We'll show you a little bit of Pickering. See this pub? Have you done it up yet? We did this up. Did you used to do pubs up? I did, yeah. Oh. A bay horse, a picker in. We yeah, were so going to come here for lunch last night. We were, week. yeah. Right, but I don't think we could get in. Am I, oh no, it says it's dog friendly. Yeah. That might be somewhere for lunch to um, stay. Yeah, it could be, yeah. If we could get a. Yeah. This will not be from the 17th of May yeah. and they're beyond excited. Well, who can blame them? I know. If they don't have outdoor seats, it would be fun. Yeah. yeah. They have some nice bars and. Yeah. Well, we've got to wait until Monday now. I know. I'm going to stop shivering. And this one's got friends. Stop friendly towels. Yeah. Everyone is making stop friendly. Yeah. I like that sheet. Don't you? It's good enough. Okay, great. Whitby Jet. Yeah, always oh, not that far from Whitby, are we? Yeah, no. I'm there. Uh, yeah. That's a Whitby Jet. I would have to say it's never really appealed to me that much, but. Each Very popular the around these parts. Okay. Oh, look at that. Can't even make out. I think. The 1855. Mm, something like that, possibly. Yeah. So another, another trip, another graveyard. This is the uh, parish church of St Peter and St Paul. Pickering, the Norman church. Not sure whether it's open or not, which looks as though it's closed, which is a shame really because it's got um, some medieval wall paintings. We'll have to come back another time. Yeah. And it's got some medieval wall paintings on there which have been covered up for 500 years. Um, they were rediscovered in the 1800s by the the vicar who recovered them up again uh, and one recently been um, exposed so all the colours are quite bright and vibrant mm. um, so it's a pity that really have you seen the um, weather vane thing? yeah yeah is it a weather vane is that what I mean I think so, I'm not sure. Or is it telling you the direction? 18, 17, no it's not. Nice. Is it what they used to tell with the clock? Is it no, how they used it? to tell the time where the sun was in relation yeah, to the yeah. dial? Yeah. We'll get there in the end. Comments will, on a yeah. postcard, folks. 
Yeah, there <laughs> will be plenty of, for our lack of knowledge and what it is. Yeah, so it's a pity it's um, it's closed really. Um, but it's a good excuse to come back. This looks like uh, this bit here looks like a, a, a recent. Well, I say a recent, more recent, a more recent extension to that and yeah. this, which is probably the dates back to the Norman period. I mean, some of these. Let's just start down there. The, like, this is like 1866. Yeah. Old. Very peaceful. Mm. I bet it looks quite stunning in there when the, there's like a massive chandelier behind that window. Is it? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> what were it? A picture you took? Of, of his gravestone. William Pickering of Pickering. Mm, right. I mean, look at this one. This is like just worn away. You can't even tell. Mary Jane. Wife of Albert Beaumont of Uddersfield. Oh! What did I tell you? You did. What did I tell you about? People from Huddersfield, a lot of people from Huddersfield have the surname Bowman. Yeah. I can't say I went to school with a lot of Beaumonts. I went with a few, <coughs> one or two, but no more Beaumonts than Melbourne, anything else. Well, that's still Huddersfield. Still Huddersfield, yeah. The borough of. Church Bell. Just outside the castle now. You can see the walls up there, yeah. right? Lovely uh, row of cottages on here. We were both just saying, weren't we? I thought we'd even up because we've never been up to this part. This part, Pickering, no. Look down these big doors, gates, I guess they'd be stables back in the day. <laughs> Quite an array of different uh, cottages. It does show you though how people have grown because these, <laughs> these doorways are very low. Yeah, aren't even they? we'd have to duck. Yeah, and that's saying something. Yeah. So that over there was the low coat. Oh, really? Mm. 
That's the only remaining part of the building. Yeah. This bit here. Okay. Yeah, which is that there. The royal officials of the castle were responsible for enforcing justice over Pickering Forest. So the curtain wall, or what's left of it, dates back to the uh, 12th century. And this recess here is um, the judgment chair. The judgment seat. The judgment seat of the law courts. And this is just all that's left of the, the new hall, wasn't it? This is the new hall. Is it? Yeah, there's yeah. a sign on the wall there. up there where there's the, like the little slitty window things. Yeah, yeah, from the castle. Yeah. And again it's on a prominent on the hill in it, overlooking yeah. the town. Yeah. Are these the Pardon? Yeah, it could have been. They've certainly got bars on them. We've had three people in our hands. <laughs> yeah. There we are, can you look inside here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I bet you can normally go in there. Yeah, we'll get the camera Yeah, I guess in normal times you'd be able to go in there. Gives you a lot of detail. Yeah. So it's a nice, nice visit that, wasn't it? It was. I mean, it's not the biggest of places, but it, it was very enjoyable. Watch, there's a car for me. <laughs> um, but it was very enjoyable, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I think with the English heritage, I think you've got some things where there's a whole day to see. Some things, what, we've spent a pleasant hour there. Yeah, an hour um, or so, yeah. But it's part of the rest of the day for us, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, yeah. Um, well worth a visit, I'd say. Yeah. Well, Pickering itself is because you've got the steam railway. It's a nice little town. Lovely market town, yeah. yeah. Got a lovely pet shop where we bought a lovely harness for Miss yeah. Nelly because she, she's becoming a nightmare when we go into town. And then, can you see the, the train carriage over yeah. there? Yeah. You can. Bridge here, shall we go over that and walk down? Yep. Right, we said so we're down by the uh, down by the railway station now. Come down from the castle. I imagine this would have been the station master's house. Yeah, so we'll be we'll be here tomorrow for our train ride to uh, Whitby. We booked on the 12 o'clock. So we'll, uh, we'll have a look round. Well, yeah, we'll cover the station. Cover it tomorrow.